Dudes! What's up, guys? This one's been a high request for a long time, and I think it's just about the best time to do it because I've gone through some remodeling and reorganizing in here. But this is my official office tour for 2016. Now there's a lot of stuff in here I'd really like to show off in terms of lighting and technical detail to how we hook up the consoles and capturing and all that. That would just simply take so much damn time, so I'm gonna focus around a lot of the things you see in this place whenever you watch a video or a stream. First up is the back of the wall, which was so blank that I had to do something about it. This is literally full of some of my favorite comics growing up and some of the stuff that I collected for a long damn time. We're talking Alien vs. Predator, Spawn, X-Men, the original Jim Lee X-Men, uh, a ton of different Predator comics, as well as the Batman vs. Predator series, and all the original Killer Instinct uh, comic line, which, which did not get many more than six issues. I believe that was about it. Now over here is where a little bit of the organization comes in, which I have to thank Jessica for, who's also holding this camera. Uh, we have all the consoles and the boxes and pretty much everything you could possibly need for controllers, cables, for all the games we play. There's also several capture equipment items in here that I've been using for a very long time. It's not super organized at the moment because we recently did get a whole bunch of stuff in a recent mail time. So we gotta re-go through it all, but PlayStation 2 games, Xbox 360, some boxed uh, SNES games, all this stuff over here. Super important to me. I like things being in as good of condition as possible when it comes to games. And uh, I've just recently been collecting a lot of them, so I want a whole lot of these things, as well as all the other stuff in here. Who, well, why, who doesn't need seven Dreamcast controllers? I have three for backup, I don't know why, I just want to make sure. Now this wall is pretty important to me. This is essentially collector's station. This is probably where I'm going to talk about the most of stuff. But what you immediately see is a whole shitload of Sega Saturn games. Uh, I've, I haven't collected all of them, but I'm collecting the ones that I personally like because I love the way Saturn games look. And it's a beautiful system. It was actually the first system I ever purchased with my own cold hard cash and worked a really hard labor job back in the 90s to get. And I don't know, we're collecting Saturn games for whatever reason, for some day or some show, I don't know. It, anyway. Everything over here is also some rare old collectible stuff as well as things that I've recently acquired. We got the Virtua Cop series on the Sega Saturn, which I love Virtua Cop, so they're all box copies. Also have a small Killer Instinct collection, which includes a signed copy of the unboxed KI-1, and all the dudes that worked on the original Killer Cut soundtrack signed this one as well for me, which is amazingly awesome. Robin Beanland, Graham Norgate, a lot of those dudes. Super cool of them. I actually got an unopened copy of Killer Instinct on Game Boy, and then you got Time Crisis. I love that game as well. I got something for like on shooters. Uh, we got Shinobi, Mega Man Collection, Akira on VHS because why not? One of my favorite movies of all time. And here's something pretty sick. Remember when Street Fighter 2 Turbo came out on the 3DO? Well, this isn't actually that. It's actually completely empty. But my god, the artwork on the back of this thing is absolutely awesome. And it's just for promotional display, as well as the display stand over here for it too. And then including on display stuff, because I have a big thing for video game displays, you'll see them here in terms of standees. Uh, I got Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Final Fantasy 7, Shinobi, which actually lights up. I can't show you right now, but it's pretty sick. And this thing, which is a crown jewel in this room. Drink Pepsi. Play Final Fantasy 7. In that order. Rinse and repeat. In the back, you can't really see them, but it's a couple of my favorite Namco games of all time. You got a Tekken 3 original arcade poster and a Soul Calibur 2 poster. They're slightly hidden because of all the stuff that's been going on, but it still means a lot to me, which is why they're up there. Other than that, we got a whole bunch of arcade sticks down here. We got even more cables, cords, a metric ton of Sir Om Nom Noms from Lost Planet 2. I love that game. The Mega Man helmet we use as a prop a lot of the time. And that's about it. That, there's, there's a lot of stuff on this wall, and it can seem kind of daunting. But wait till I show you the next thing. Now you want to talk about daunting. Holy shit. This thing I've had for about a couple years now, and this standee is ridiculous. This is the original Killer Instinct Fulgore 1995 standee for the Super Nintendo before the game came out, and to find them in decent condition is pretty hard. We actually had to reinforce the back of this thing completely to make it stand on its own, and I absolutely love it. There's very few people that actually have these anymore, and it is a prized gem, which is most likely why you see it in almost every single video I have. Now, talking about this wall really quick, you can immediately see the purlers, which Jessica has made. She loves making these things. I love showing them off. They look fantastic. 
as well as several posters for some of my favorite games of all time, including Fantasy Star Online, Asura's Wrath, Space Channel 5, got Killer Instinct 2 down here, DuckTales and Strider I worked on and did behind the scenes videos for Capcom on these uh, in terms of making of the games. So, gotta keep those up there. And then some classic stuff down here as well, including Ultimate Marvel 3, and a Transformers poster in that corner. But, before that, we got our wonderful YouTube 100,000 subscribers, Plaque, which I've had for a couple years now. That still blows my mind that we're past half a million. And of course, one of my favorite things, Jessica put this together, in case of emergency, the Benny Bucks are there. Only in case of emergency. Now I'm going to show off this corner, but to get there, let me move all the Vertigear stuff out of the way as I roll over my own toes! Oh my god! And I have my Final Fantasy corner. This is kind of dedicated to all my favorite Final Fantasy figures that I've had for a very long time. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions came out with some figures. I found out these are actually worth quite a bit, and I just dug them up because they were on my office desk like seven years ago or something. And then behind it is a whole bunch of memorabilia from Final Fantasy VII, uh, stuff that I've had for a very long time. Me and Jessica have been collecting all these things for God knows how long. And I just had to display it. Man, there's Fafnir up here? I remember camping this son of a bitch for days. I call the riddle. I call the riddle. Outside of that, we got the alien head from the Alien movie, which is a uh, makes me feel very good every time I think about it. We made a costume that was then impossible to make, along with a real alien poster that's right behind it, and a Guilty Gear XR poster, which I think is signed by Daisuke Ishiwatari. The dude is super cool. We talked to each other a little bit at Evo. Surreal experience. Incredibly nice guy. Now here's where things get a little unorganized because we've been doing a lot of filming lately, and you can kind of get some behind the scenes as far as what happens on this side of the room. If you take a look over here, we have a completely alternate setup dedicated for pretty much whatever. People can bring their consoles, we can do LAN parties, stuff like that. We're going to have another computer dedicated to this pretty soon so that if there is something we want to play online with each other, even if it is on PC, we can at least do co-op. This is my workstation. It's completely destroyed right now. There is just so much crap everywhere. My stream station on the right, my mixer, everything that goes with it. And then to boot, my Killer Instinct. Wonderful. What's it called? Banner? I'm gonna say that's a banner? It was signed by all the guys from Killer Instinct 2013 that uh, had any influence on the game back in the day and it was super nice of them to give that to me. I cherish it as well as I cherish the Marvel vs. Capcom Origins poster which was given to me also by the Capcom guys when I did the Retro Assist Me series and that was a lot of fun. If you want to talk about lighting, here's what we use for some of our lights. These have been up here for quite some time. We use a three-point lighting system main and sides. Uh, we recently started doing that. It doesn't get very hot. These are bulbs that do not get hot at all and they offer quite a bit of light and they don't take a lot of power. They're pretty good. I think Cowboy Studio makes them so if you want to check that out for cheap good lighting. They're called photography lights. Now let's talk about the main setup. So here we go. This is the main thing we play games on and it's also recently been changed. Like I said, there's a lot of technical stuff that's going on in here in regards to how we capture every single console on the best signal quality possible. I'm going to save that for another video because I'll talk for like 20 minutes on it for you tech heads that really want to know. But here we go. We use one of these giant TVs. I'm pretty sure this is a... It's not an LG. It's a... The Vizio. We got a Vizio 50-inch 4K TV. It was actually under $500 when I purchased it. And the game mode on this thing on HDMI port 5 has about one frame of lag, which is, I think, the highest for, I'm sorry, the lowest delay for anything of its size. We actually ran two different TVs over here, an EVO monitor and a regular monitor, and pretty much we would play all our fighting games on the EVO monitor because that had the lowest lag. Because, man, when you would jump online with something and you're playing on a big 40-inch TV, you're pretty much adding three extra frames of delay. So, we cut that out, we got this, it works great, and then we also have our streaming monitor, which allows us to keep up with the chat room on streams and have any backup footage if we're going to be running a game somewhere else so someone can play a game up there, which is pretty cool. On the right side is all of our capture equipment, a bunch of consoles down here. I'll talk about that in detail later, but most of the consoles we have are on the right. Sega Saturn, Xbox One, Panasonic GameCube. You don't see that a lot every day, trust me. And on top of it is a couple of things that I cherish dearly. Fantasy Star Online, we did a big stream not that long ago playing this game with a ton of people. It was absolutely awesome, some of the most fun I've had streaming. Uh, this poster celebrates the Japanese launch of PSO and the Japanese launch of PSO version 2. There's not many posters in the US of this stuff, but 
the one thing I did or was able to find of PSO that is like marketing or some kind of display is right over here next to all these other ridiculous Capcom displays. Now, PSO, I think, only had this thing that was made. And like I said, I'm obsessed with video game displays. We got the entire legacy of displays for the Marvel vs. Capcom series, from Marvel 2 to Marvel vs. Capcom to Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. And the funny thing is, is that these span three different eras of consoles, the PlayStation, the Dreamcast, and the PlayStation 2, which is kind of awesome. I don't think they made anything for X-Men vs. Street Fighter. If you know of something, let me know. All right, so that's about it. That's the office in its current state. I'm sorry, a lot of stuff is totally messed up. We are throwing things left and right when it comes to a stream, and then things are getting reorganized like crazy when it comes to lighting and filming. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. This is what we have as of 2016. I'll try to do an update later, and I'll be back with something in regards to capturing all this stuff and how we're able to do that and get smooth, clean footage outside of just a Twitch feed, which is something that takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of time. Either way, thank you dudes a ton for watching. Thank you for hanging out. I'm gonna take Benny. We're gonna go to bed. Damn, that dog looks tired. And we'll see you next time.